The members of the MEK are women and men who have suffered torture, both in the Shah's prisons and in the Mullah's prisons. They have seen their families and friends executed. They know who took away their freedom and who is the liar. They have stayed together, living together in Iraq, in Paris, in Tirana, or wherever it might be, fighting together because they know that they are the spearhead of the Iranian warriors for freedom. Their choice is to remain together, knowing, of course, that they can leave at any time if they wish to do so, and that they can have their own private life whenever they decide to. But knowing also that they will be welcomed anywhere they wish to go in the world, because they are re recognized and admired for their struggle, for their skills, for their high education, for their proficiency, and for their values, they abide to in anything they undertake. You see, being an Ashrafian is not a second best choice in life. It's not a solution against solitude or unemployment. It's not an escaping strategy or a transitional mode. It's not being the puppet of anyone. What the regime doesn't understand is that a woman, Miriam Rajavi, is the leader of this resistance. A woman that has suffered and sacrificed as much or more than any of its members. A woman that cannot be bought or intimidated or even silenced because she is the voice of millions she is the hope of millions. She's not the torturer, but the victim. She's not the prison guard, but the key to freedom. She is not a despot like her enemies, but a justice fighter. Her strength is her lack of personal ambition. She lives for the people. She does not impose herself. She does not manipulate. She is carried by the people, all the millions of Iranians, victims of the clerical regime. Being like her, an Ashrafian, is, I think, the closest we can imagine today to being an apocalyptic warrior. It's a stuff for heroes. It's the destiny chosen by women and men who don't give up. It's the transformer's option of the dreamer becoming the winner. Iran knows. They know where the truth is standing and who is flying its banner. And even though I have not been called in my personal life, to sacrifice as much as Ashrafis have for Iran, I declare myself proudly to be an Ashrafian because I have chosen, as you have, to struggle against oppression, lies, and death, and to abide in every way to freedom, truth, and life. Iranians have understood that the best way to have the criminals accountable for their 40 years of crimes is to overthrow this tyranny, to win this war for freedom. Hazer, Hazer, Hazer. Merci beaucoup, cher Ingrid. Dans chaque moment, vous êtes Merci aux côtés de notre mouvement, aux côtés de mes sœurs et frères. Merci beaucoup. Merci.